Uh, well, you know, we knew coming in that uh, Syracuse lived and died by their press, and, you know, we tried to prepare for it as best we could, um, even using six players in practice to go against, just constantly trapping, and, um, you know, they're just relentless, and it was a difference in the game. Uh, thought we struggled. I thought early on we attacked it, had some opportunities, missed some layups, and uh, as the game wore on, I just think their pressure was too much. Uh, they're trapping and forced us into too many turnovers and quick shots uh, that we're just not comfortable playing as fast as I think they forced us to play. But I credit their defense. You know, we didn't shoot the ball well in the second half and really in the first half didn't get to the free throw line. Finally got there in the second half but just couldn't convert hitting free throws. Um, but they're good. I mean, they're very talented. They're deep. They play a lot of players. Uh, they score in multiple ways. And, uh, you know, we just didn't match up very well today. How did, um, how, how did the game plan to defend Syracuse change once, once Alexis Peterson went out? It really did it. You know, we, uh, we started a bigger lineup. I thought we were effective to start the game, switching all of our screens, except with uh, Asia Bug, our point guard, uh, with our, you know, two through five switching on ball screens. I thought it was effective. Uh, just at least staying in plays and challenging because a big thing was uh, their post players being able to pick and pop or, you know, with Slim and, you know, Fondren and um, players coming off the bench with Julia Chandler, you know, those those post players are very versatile with picking and popping. And when we had a bigger lineup, we just tried to switch screens so we could stay in plays and challenge. We thought their guards were really good at coming off of screens, getting in the paint, either creating a shot, if you come off of shooters, of kicking. So uh, once we started a rotation and we became smaller. I think that changed the way we were able to defend. Uh, you know, once, um, you know, Peterson didn't play, I, I think in my mind, uh, I felt it gave us a chance to compete uh, because I think she is uh, a tremendous point guard of, you know, doing every, a little bit of everything. You know, she's a great playmaker, a great shooter, a great scorer, and really makes that team go. And when she wasn't playing, I thought it gave us a better chance to compete at least. And I thought in the first half we did that, you know, had some missed opportunities and then came out in the second half. I think just over the 40 minutes they just wore us down. Coach, you know, Brenna Wise was able to score for you kind of in multiple ways as one of your leaders. Can you just talk a little bit about her play tonight? You know, it's very difficult to take Brenna Wise off the floor for us. And she's playing a guard position, a post position. She's just a warrior. I mean, she just a fighter, a competitor, um, will do whatever we ask her to do. And she has improved as this season has gone along. I mean, it, it's been surprising, I think, in some ways that she's had more success in the once we've gotten into ACC play against this caliber of competition than she has um, coming into the ACC. But uh, I'm excited about the future. She and Calista Walters, you know, both in double figures as two freshmen, that have stepped up their game um, as far as scoring the basketball. And the expectations, you know, continue to be raised for those two because of the contributions that they're making. But um, Brenna's just a warrior. I mean, I, I absolutely love coaching her and how hard she works and what she brings to our team. Coach, uh, coming off a very heartbreaking triple overtime loss um, in your last game, do you get the sense there was a bit of a hangover coming into this kind of a contest? I don't think so. Uh, players are resilient. I mean, they, they bounce back. Um, we get, came into practice the next day, and or on um, Tuesday, and they were ready to go. I thought we had some pretty good practices. And, you know, we're not a team built to score a lot of points, so we need to defend. And you know, we didn't do a, a good enough job tonight of defending, but we need to be able to put more than 48 points on the board to compete in this conference. Um, we do a ton of shooting in practice, uh, beginning, middle, and competitive um, with consequences, we have goals. If they're not met, there are consequences. Just trying to get us to be better shooters. But it, you know, sometimes it's hard to simulate the game experience. And um, you know, we're getting better. I think we're getting better. I know it didn't show today, but you know, we're seeing signs of us growing as a team as this season has gone along. Thanks, coach. Thanks.